Pregame.com. Tuesday night, Dayton, Ohio. It's the plus four. Used to be the play-in games, Stephen. Now it's the plus four teams. Iona, BYU, winner of this game, moves on, gets to move on to the big dance. Uh, pretty soon we're going to have, everybody's just going to make the tournament. We're just going to have a... <laughs> it's getting to that way. Yeah, the winner of this uh, plus four is at the term now. We'll just probably lose to Marquette. I believe that's the, the, the team they would draw. So, But we can, we, we'll talk about this game. He's Steven over on Marco D'Angelo. Uh, BYU opens up two-point favorite over Iona in this game. Um, Steven, uh, first off, last week uh, you were in on uh, Monday. We did videos, and then we uh, did videos uh, later in the week with uh, Scott Sprites. A great week with videos, four and one. Unfortunately for the viewers, the only loser we had on the videos last week was my video best bet whenever uh, well, Wyoming put up a meaningless three down 11. Cans it with 1.1 second left okay. in the game. Tough beat, but I, I'd take a four and one, you know, <laughs> any any time. And uh, not to pat ourselves on the shoulder, but one of those an NBA game we talked about wasn't it? Uh, uh, the Knicks in Dallas, mm -hmm. you know, and we projected a line, and it came much shorter than that. And uh, you know, and we were both on the right side then on that. And, ended uh, up. So, uh, I projected Dallas by 11, they won by 10. Sorry, we were off a point <laughs> there. But enough about that. Let's get to this game. BYU's the name team, obviously, and to me, that's the reason they're in here. BYU, you know, Iona, they didn't win their, their conference. Iona isn't the name team here? <laughs> no, Iona's not the name team here. This is a very high-scoring team. They're a good team, don't get me wrong. They're, they're a good team. They got uh, the forward on his team, Michael Glover. 18 and a half points per game, and he's shooting 64% from the field. That's taking it to the taking it to the rack a lot. There's got to be a lot of dunks in there with the uh, yeah. 64 percent from the floor, but this is a team that won their conference during the regular season, but lost the conference tournament. And we know that these we're going to call these mid majors when the team doesn't win their conference tournament, generally they get screwed, no matter what they did during the regular season. But here's a team that is getting a shot. It's in the plus four, but they're getting a shot to make the big dance. I think they can do it. BYU, I'm not impressed. You know, Jimmer's still not there. This is a team that got a lot of hype the last few years because of him. They changed conferences, went to the West Coast Conference, and, you know, that conference is dominated, obviously, by Gonzaga and St. Mary's. They played those two teams. BYU played those two teams five times this year. They were one and four against the elite of their conference. I just don't see how they get the bid here. They don't have a quality win. Um, I just think they finished third in that conference. That's really a two-horse conference. You know, now BYU brought you know a little bit of a name to it, but BYU was down this year, not beating the top guns. And who was their quality win this season outside of the conference? Oregon. I'm not impressed with the Pac-12, which you'll hear about in another video that we're doing today. Tell me where I'm wrong here that Iona's not a li live dog. You're not wrong. I I'm going to fall in line with you here, Marco. I, there was some talk that Iona didn't deserve a bid. Well, heck, I feel they deserve a bid more than BYU. A lot of the reasons you outlined, along with the, the player you mentioned, Glover, they also have an excellent point guard, uh, Machado. He led the whole NCAA in assists. Iona can really score a lot, you know, so can BYU, but uh, it's quite a, quite a difference, you know, the team coming uh, from Utah and a team Iona made up of New York City athletes, you know, so we're going to have, but both these are up and down teams, there's going to be a lot of points here, although a red flag goes up with BYU, could not match up, as you mentioned, against uh, the upper uh, elite teams in, in their new conference, uh, that being Gonzaga and St. Mary's. Bad losses to Gonzaga, and the scary thing for BYU, they need to have be up-tempo. They only managed two points in transition mm -hmm. against Gonzaga. And now they're taking on Iona, another up-and-down team. That, to me, is a red flag, and it, it points out uh, strongly, I think, in favor of, of your opinion to Iona. Well, the other thing I like about this team is this Iona team, you know, the reason they got in, even though they lost 
you know, the conference yeah. tournament mm -hmm. and we talk about, which I don't think is fair. To me, I think there should be a bigger emphasis on your body of work yeah. for three months yeah. rather than three right. days. But, yeah. you know, that that's, we could do a whole video. We'll get video. to that when we get to Colorado. <laughs> and, uh, you know, yeah, we could do a whole video yeah. on, on that. But yeah. this is a team that wasn't scared to go out and play teams mm -hmm. out of conference. Mm -hmm. They played at one point in December this year eight straight road games in the month of December, and they went 6-2. and two. Amongst those uh, games, they had a one-point loss to Purdue. They had wins over Western Michigan, Maryland, and St. Joe's. Now, we're not talking about the absolute elite mm -hmm. out of conference, but for a team like Iona to schedule that many, you know, name teams that we know yeah. and, and come out 6-2 and two and play eight straight in a row, that, that had to be hor you know, horrible for this team on the travel, and they, that toughened them up. I think they win this game and move on to Thursday. Can't disagree with you, Marco. I'm glad they got a bid, and I'm glad that the tournament committee recognizes uh, strength of schedule and teams not afraid to go and, and schedule hard schedules. And uh, I'll fall in line with you here. All right. Well, there you have it. That is Tuesday night. We've got Iona, BYU. I'm going with Iona. They're a two-point dog. I've got them winning by four. It's going to be, should be a very entertaining game up and down the floor. If you've never seen Iona play, this will be an entertaining game for you because if you're looking for defense, just keep on changing the channel because you're not going to find it in this one. Iona plus the points on Tuesday. We're going to be right back. We're going to take a look at a game on Wednesday, another of the plus four games. We're going to look at South Florida and California. Big East, Pac-12, boy, I've got a lot of comments on this one, and I'm sure Stephen does too. He's Stephen Nova and Marco D'Angelo. We'll be right back.